Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Cirrus. My name is Laura Higgs and today is September 18, 2018. Today we have with us to talk about the Westman Youth Choir, Bill Lawson, who is the Secretary Treasurer for the group, and Heather Williams. Hello. Welcome right. folks. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Yeah. Now tell us, the Westman Youth Choir, can you give me a little history about that group? Yeah, the choir was started in 1980, so this is our 39th choir. It was started by two men in Brandon, Derek Morphy, who taught at the high schools in Brandon, and Dr. Earl Davey, who was at Brandon University. Two years previous to that, Brandon had hosted the Winter, Canada Winter Games. Brandon schools were in charge of the opening ceremony, and the rural schools did the a closing ceremony. As it turned out, they realized all the singing talent didn't exist just in Brandon. There was actually singing talent out in the rural areas. And these two men got together, they did a lot of adjudicating in the Westman area, and phoned me and they said, I think we should start up a choir with all these young people from the rural area, as well as Brandon, and form this Westman Youth Choir. Which we did, and it's been going, this is our set, our 39th year now. We've had second generation kids come through, and it's just been a wonderful experience. Wow. What are the age ranges of this group? Kids have to be, singers have to be from grades 10 to 12. Hmm. So it's just high school students, grades 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, they do pay a tuition. It's, the tuition right now is $385, which covers two weekend camps at Camp Want to Come Back, as well as a four-day tour. Wow. So we aren't over, you know, it doesn't cost the kids all that much. It's not thousands of dollars. Right. And so... Um, some kids do require some financial assistance, and we've had some generous donations given to our choir. One family had five of their children join our choir, wow. and as a result gave us a gift of $5,000, hmm. which we've been slowly giving away as in scholarships to kids who need the money. Wow. So they pay this tuition to belong to this group, and then they're committed to rehearsals, which to rehearsals. happen how often? We have two rehearsal camps. One just happened this past weekend. We've always gone to camp Want a Comeback at Clear Lake isolated, great facilities, and so we've always gone there. They had one camp last weekend, they'll have a second camp in next weekend, wow. and then tour after that. So it's two, three, two, what, four day weekends, and mm -hmm. then the tour. And these kids are just sponges. We throw music at them that is unbelievable, and they just soak it up and sing. So, do they practice all year at no. different, they just get together at these two times? It's just two weekends, wow. that's all the rehearsal they have, as well as little rehearsals on tour. Right. To polish things up, but sure. they just have those two weekends to learn all the music, and usually they come out of that not having to carry a stitch of music with them. They'll have it all memorized. Oh, so they get their music ahead of time nope. and get a chance to look nope. at it? They don't even do that? No, they get the wow. music the first camp. Wow. These kids are so, so musical. and. A lot of them in the rural areas don't have access to great choirs. Mm. You know, in, in Suris alone, the there's no smaller. school choir. Yeah. There are in Brandon, they have got a couple of great school choirs going, but in rural areas, there are very few. Verdon has one, maybe Nipua. A few of the areas have their school choirs, but a lot of them, and a lot of these kids are the, oh, maybe there's only about three or four in each community that really love music but can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So we bring all these kids together the neatest thing is on their first rehearsal night to watch the look on the kid's face, those ones that are brand new, and the conductor will start them singing, and they'll break out in these four-part harmonies, and the kids are looking at each other and saying, that's us. Because <laughs> it's just unbelievable the sound that these kids make. Wow. How many kids are involved? We have to limit the number of kids to the number that can fit on a bus. Oh. Okay. So it's between 50 and 53. Wow. Because we usually have 55 passenger buses. We need a couple of chaperones. Uh -huh. So between 50 and 52, 53. Wow. This year we have 53 singers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, they're just. And we, have, we choose them from about 80 to 90 auditions. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. A good thing for the youth to be involved in something like this. Oh, yes. It's a wonderful. I believe experience. it gives them something uh, creative to work towards yeah. instead of the one. The other. One student that comes to mind, well, she's not a student now, is Michelle Chiswick from Verdon. She started out as a singer in high school, came back as an accompanist, has been our conductor 
for two or three different times and also a parent. So she's gone the whole gamut. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big commitment and great involvement. Oh, it is. It's yeah. wonderful. And we've had a lot of students go through and make music a career. Yeah. Wow. Teaching music. Yeah. That is amazing. So they have these two weekends and then they get together for the tour, you say, and the tour is how long? The tour starts on October the 9th, 13th and goes to the 16th. Okay. We are going to, where do we go first of all? Uh, Melita was where we start off Thursday night, or Saturday, pardon me, Melita on Saturday, Sunday morning is in Deloraine, Sunday evening at Killarney, Monday morning is at Boys of Ain School, Monday afternoon at Wallanisa School, Monday evening here in Surus, Tuesday morning at Reston, and then Tuesday afternoon and evening are in Brandon at Central United. Wow. So we pack in all those concerts and they perform. And they love it. Oh, they, love, they it. love it. Oh, yes. So, Heather, that's why you're with us, is because the host this year is going to be uh, St. Paul's uh, yes. Church for the, oh, no. for the Youth Choir. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're very honored. Uh, we've hosted the Westman Youth Choir. They do a southern tour one year and a northern, sort of northern number one, mm -hmm. okay. the next year. Oh. So, this is the southern year. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we've done it a couple of times already and um, the students need billeted so just letting you know if anybody has room for billets we're always looking for host families mm -hmm. so you just put them up for the night and then breakfast the next morning and and they're gone by what eight or nine o'clock yeah. wow yes so it's not a long term it's just they need a bed okay for all these students so yeah our concert will be at st paul's in the church itself um, on uh, Monday the 15th, and I'm not sure, Bill and I were just talking whether it would be 7 or 7.30. Uh, ticket cost is likely around $10 mm. for, and you'll just get your tickets at the door. Right. And uh, so the students come in, they will be in sometime on Monday, and uh, we are to feed them supper. So there will be a committee that will give them a supper and then they will go through and, <coughs> and have their concert. And right in your auditorium in the, in the yes. church. Great. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So and they'll be right prepared and there. And there. Great. Yeah. And they use different parts of the church to sort of practice in little groups or get dressed mm -hmm. or whatever, you mm -hmm. know. So um, it's fun having them in the church and they are so talented. It just, um, I always think something like this, the exposure of something like this, um, maybe inspires them to go on you know they might not have realized gee i can do this and i'm confident mm -hmm. in doing it and so yeah. it can be quite life-changing for them absolutely at that age i yes. think they need those things in their life to give them the confidence and yes the the pianist this year is Xiaomi <laughs> Shen. Um, she has both a, a bachelor and a master's in music education and she got that in Beijing and then she graduated from the Master of Music in Piano Performance and Literature from BU. Wow. And she studied, uh, and she studied under Professor uh, Maskey and currently she's teaching piano at BU and is the collaborative pianist for the BU concert choir. So that's the pianist. Wow. Yes, very talented. Very talented, yes. There's two conductors. One is John Weens, and uh, he's a Manitoba boy and um, from a musical family. His degrees are in violin voice and conducting, and he's conducted both within Canada and internationally. So he's, wow. and Marla Fontaine is the other conductor. And so she um, is the music speci specialist at A. Cole Harrison in Brandon. And she directs, has directed many choirs in both Winnipeg and Brandon. Um, she's a, a BU student as well with her. Um, and um, so, you know, just really, and this is her third time conducting with wow. the Western Manitoba Youth Choir. So very, very talented. Mm -hmm people that yeah. they have uh, and committed people I think that's yes. great to commit to something and, mm -hmm. and to be there a, a long time even mm -hmm. generationally that's wonderful yes, yes for yes. sure yeah, we always aim for top-notch conductors and we've always had two yes 
two conductors that can collaborate and mm -hmm. each take half and whatnot. So we've always had two conductors. There are other youth choirs in Manitoba. Central has one and Eastman has one. We are the longest running. We mm. started the whole ball of wax, you might say. Yeah. And uh, so we take pride in being the first in Manitoba Absolutely. and still going strong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Which taken a lot of dedication on the part of the people organizing. Absolutely. All these years. And you've been deal. there, Bill, from the beginning. I've yeah. been there from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Derek and Earl contacted me and said, do you think we can start a choir? I said, yes. Mm -hmm. So I've been with it for 39 years now. Wow. So. Yeah. Yep. Good. Congratulations. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a big commitment. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, too, for coming in. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate that. Let's remind our community that the event, the Westman Youth Choir will be here on October 15th at St. Paul's Church at 7 or 7.30. Watch for the details. $10 to get in. Yep. And that you are looking for billets for these yes. kids. Mm -hmm. So, Heather, um, can they contact you? Yeah, they can contact me okay. or the church. Yeah, 4830. Okay. 3804, 3804 or call St. Paul's in the morning and Debbie will take your name down. So. Great. Yeah. So we need billets for 53 kids and and the, and the chaperones. So yeah. billets for at least 55 people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a big commitment, but I know, sirs, you can do it. Uh, thank you too for coming in. Great. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Spotlight on Cirrus is brought to you by WCG TV, Access Channel 12. Our volunteers today are cameraman Mark Cranwell and Lloyd Barkley. My name is Laura Higgs. Thank you so much for joining us.